Hi everyone, my name is Erin with Pueblo Science, and I'm a third year undergraduate student studying Immunology and Psychology at the University of Toronto. Today, I'll be showing you how to make imitation caviar that looks just like the real thing, but the catch is, we're going to be using common household items that you can find in your very own kitchen. With this experiment, we'll be delving into the world of molecular gastronomy to explore how these common household items can make these fun, tasty spheres of perfect goodness. By the end of this video, you'll learn a little bit more about molecular gastronomy, cold oil spherification, the chemical properties that make gelatin just so fascinating, and most importantly, how to make imitation caviar. For this experiment, you'll need oil, a liquid of your choice, gelatin, saucepan, measuring cup, a clear glass, and an eyedropper. For my liquid of choice, I went with pineapple juice, but you can choose any liquid that you'd like to turn into imitation caviar. I also went with plain gelatin, but feel free to swap out for your favorite flavor of jello. To start, you will need to measure out a cup of vegetable oil and pour it into a clear cup. Place the cup into the freezer for at least a half an hour. When you take it out, it should be thick and cold, but not solid. While the oil is firming up, take your measuring cup and measure out a cup of your liquid of choice. When using hot elements, it's always best to have adult assistance and supervision. Next, grab a small saucepan. Pour in your liquid of choice in two envelopes of your gelatin. Turn your burner on to high. Stir the mixture to combine and bring the mixture to a boil. Once the mixture reaches a boil, take it off the heat. Take your chilled oil mixture out of the freezer and suck up some of the hot liquid into your dropper and squeeze the droplets into the cup filled with the chilled vegetable oil. The beads will firm up and then slowly begin to drop to the bottom of the cup. Remove the caviar from the cup either by scooping them out with a spoon or using a strainer to strain them out. Now all that's left is to plate your imitation caviar and marvel at the fine dining creation that you've just made. This technique has been popularized in the modern food industry by engaging with the concepts of molecular gastronomy. Molecular gastronomy is the science of cooking that studies the physical and chemical properties of ingredients. This information can be used to create stunning and outrageous dishes such as transparent ravioli or deconstructed eggs benedict. The technique used in this video is known as cold oil spherification. Cold oil spherification manipulates what we know about gelatin and state changes. Gelatin is made up of amino acids, which are the building blocks of proteins. At room temperature, these strands like to stick together and make a triple helix shape shown on the right hand side of this diagram. When gelatin is put in hot water, it heats up the bonds that are holding the strands together. When the water is hot, the molecules are moving too fast to hang out with the gelatin and the gelatin water mixture remains a liquid. But when the mixture is pipetted into a cold oil, this temperature change causes the water molecules to slow down and then they bond to the gelatin strands. Remembering that gelatin also forms that triple matrix structure. What happens when you have a bunch of random water molecules trapped in this triple matrix is that you end up with a gel structure, which is what we characterize jello as. Because of the rapid temperature change from the hot gelatin mixture to the cold oil, you end up with perfect little spherical droplets that look just like caviar. Thanks for watching guys. If you like this experiment, we invite you to try this one at home and tag us at Pueblo Science with your finished product. If you want to see more science related content like this video, feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook and TikTok. Have a nice day!